about it, you can always go and work in Salford against the re-election of Hazel Clear. <laughs> <laughs> we took the I don't have the right colour here. Um, <laughs> I welcome <laughs> Kathleen McBird, and particularly the fact that every councillor who has spoken has pointed towards the gradual reunification of the county. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can I ask what provision has been made in the appointment of social workers for dealing with the protection of vulnerable adults from abuse and the investigation of adults uh, of abuse of adults? And the investigation of allegations of abuse. Uh, Councillor Brenda Downey. We took quite a brave decision in adult social care and health when it came to developing our three year strategy. We handed it over to stakeholders and said, what do you believe we should be doing? Officers thought that was going to be terribly expensive. But the most interesting thing was that the goals that they came up with aligned very closely to the um, goals that are set within all of the documentation for adult social care and health. In particular, the number one goal they came up with was that they wanted people to be living in a community in which all our residents are and feel safe included and empowered. So for this local authority, with adult social care and health, our number one priority is safety, making our residents safe, safeguarding. You ask what provision we make in the appointment of social workers. At present, before appointment, all staff are checked, as you would expect, with the independent safeguarding authority. Following appointment, the directorate provides an awareness course on adult safeguarding for social workers followed by a two-day course on how to carry out investigations in the context of multi-agency multi working. Every three years, social workers must have refreshed their learning and development in safeguarding, a process monitored by their managers. And a pilot course is currently being run by the police on achieving best evidence, which, if successful, will be assimilated into the social work learning and development program. However, most important, it seems to me, is raising awareness with our service users, empowering them to keep safe, raising awareness with carers, with the general public, with people like you about what um, abuse of vulnerable adults is all about. And if I can just add a plug, we do have a very good leaflet to raise awareness and information on our website. It is everybody's business, safeguarding adults. But if I stick with the question, the, in the second bit of the question, you asked how we deal with the investigation of allegations of abuse. Um, if there's any suspicion of abuse, a trigger form is completed within the department. And where an investigation is required, the case is assigned by a team manager to an appropriate investigation officer, normally a level three social worker who has the necessary experience and training. And outcomes of that investigation could range between no further action and a criminal case which would be instigated by the police. That's a very brief outline, I hope, to address specifically the issues you um, raise. But we do admit that what we do now is not enough. It will never be enough. There will always be abuse of vulnerable people, and we have to do a whole lot more to make absolutely certain that the adults in Cheshire West and Chester those vulnerable adults are as safe as they can possibly be, and we are committed to a whole range of initiatives yeah. to improve this, which I'll go into later if anybody asks about. Okay, Janet, do you want to come back? I'm just concerned that it's a very time-consuming um, process, and that the numbers of workers and managers, particularly managers, has been reduced considerably. Consequently, the level of support for those frontline workers doing this very important, risky work, and let's face it, the muck sticks with the council if anything does go wrong. Um, that this, um, you know, 
it's so you're saying that the number of staff who are dealing with this sort of allegations and stuff like that have been cut back? Yes. Is, is, that, is that right, Councillor? No, but that isn't correct. We have actually increased the... I mean, it's sad to say that for the whole of Cheshire, there was only uh, one um, person in the, you might call the safeguarding unit, not dealing with the abuse that you're talking about, but actually dealing with the administration of um, the safeguarding. Um, we've doubled that, but that's not good enough. And this is the, the sort of um, area that I meant when I was saying we know that we still have a lot to do. Um, but we've got far, far more to do in raising awareness with the public so that we are sure that if there is abuse out there, that it is reported. That's the biggest issue of, at the moment, is generating those referrals. Once we've generated them, we believe internally that we can um, set up systems that will deal with those adequacies to address the area that you're concerned about. Okay. Uh, just a couple of quick ones. I think the points you're making are, are very important and because we treat safeguarding very seriously, we've set up the Adult Safeguarding Board and we're currently in the process of putting processes and procedures in that are as robust as those that we have for children's, uh, vulnerable children. Uh, that's not been the case in the past and uh, we believe it's very important because obviously the public has always looked at children with the incidents that you've had there. But actually, we are aware that uh, our vulnerable adults need the same level of support and uh, care. We're also looking very much at early intervention. So as you don't get to the point uh, of, of where you're talking about where we need an investigation, if we have early intervention, A, we can avoid the abuse in the first place, and B, we pick things up very quickly. So it's actually cheaper for us if we do it that way. And finally, of the £43 million we've said we saved, we have invested about £7 million of that saving into additional staff on frontline services, uh, particularly in adult and children's social care services, to ensure we manage the caseloads for a social worker to, again, support the early intervention and the better care of our vulnerable children and adults. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed for your, your, your question, Janet, and thanks to all of you for your questions and comments. Uh, it's now uh, my pleasure to ask uh, Candice Jones to perhaps come back up here and uh, make concluding <coughs> remarks. Thank you very much, Jim, and uh, can I just thank you all very much for your very challenging um, questions and the lively debate uh, that's taken place. Uh, it is important that we use these sessions to challenge us and put uh, my colleagues and myself uh, uh, through the paces to ensure that we understand where you're coming from and that we, because uh, day, we are accountable to you. Our consultation on the budget runs through to 29th of January. And if you've got any further comment, or you feel we've not covered something that you'd like to have covered, then please let us know uh, in plenty of time, because on the 25th of February, we have the full council meeting that will agree the budget. Uh, this is a public meeting, and you're very welcome to come along to that meeting if you wish. Uh, when you came in, you were given some cards representing £5 million. Uh, how would you like to spend that £5 million? When you go into the refreshments uh, next door, uh, there are boxes with different priorities labelling on the front of them and we'd ask you to allocate your £5 million between those boxes. Uh, we'll count them up and I'll say at the end of the year period we'll let you know what the final tally is. Uh, if you have any further comments, you've got the ideas board, please uh, put your comments on the ideas board and again that's placed in the refreshment <coughs> area. And we'd also ask if you'd be kind enough to put in the feedback form. Uh, this is something that's new. Uh, we're trying it to see what, how it works and whether you feel it's useful. Uh, please give us your open and honest comments. I don't think you need to put your name on it, so don't worry about that. Uh, and hopefully we'll write to you again in a few months with the results of the consultation process. Uh, there is food next door for lunch. There is a cable down the centre of the path, so please be careful so you don't trip over that. I understand some people nearly did. Uh, use your ideas board and of course use the cars for your spending priorities. Uh, can I thank you all very, very much for coming and spending your morning with us. It's mm -hmm. really appreciated. It's been a very interesting morning and we are very grateful for the input that you've given us into our budget process. Thank you all very much too and I hope you've enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Thank you.